Greetings! It's Maxo Diddley. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can check if two UI images on a canvas are colliding in Unity without using box colliders or triggers. Let's get right into it. So my current setup is I have a square that I can drag and drop and I want to print out a debug log message when the white square touches the red square. So the first step is we want to right click in our assets folder and go to create and then go to C-sharp script and we'll call this rect help. Then once we've made the script we need to open it up and you want to delete the start and the update functions. Then you are going to do public static bool is overlapping rect transform A and rect transform B. And here we're just going to be making a function. It's going to return a true or a false. True for overlapping, false for not overlapping. And it's public static, meaning we can just call this function wherever we want in our program and just quickly check if two rec transforms are touching or not. Then the first thing we're going to do inside, we're going to do if rec a equals null or rec b equals null return false. So if one of the rec transforms we pass into the function, are null, we're going to return false because they can't be overlapping if at least one doesn't exist. Then we're going to do vector three corners a equals new vector three four and vector three corners b equals new vector three four. And here we're creating two arrays, each with four vector three values. And these will be storing the four corners of a rec transform. After that, we're then going to do rect a dot get world corners corners a and rect b dot get world corners corners b. So rect a dot get world corners corners a will fill the corners a array with four corner points, bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, and will convert the UI local positions into world positions so they can be compared properly. Because if you have an object that's a child of another object in your canvas, and then you've got an object you're comparing it to, which is a child of a different object in that canvas, their positions will be different locally. And we want to basically be like, right, I don't care about your local position. I care about your world position for the comparison. And that's what we're doing here. And we're going to be doing the same for rect B. Then we're going to do rect, rect one equals new rect corners A zero, corners A two minus corners A zero, and then we can do the same thing for rec2, but with corners B. And here we're going to be creating two 2D rectangles and calculating the width and the height, which we can do so using the corners data that we got before. After that, we can then do return rect1.overlaps rec2. So here we're going to be using the built-in overlaps method, and we're going to check if rect1 and rect2 intersect or touch each other. It returns true if they overlap, it returns false if they don't. And that's literally it for the bulk of the code. So now I'm going to show an example on how we can implement this in our Unity game. So in my square class, I'm going to do serialize field rec transform red zone to have a reference to the red zone rec transform. And then in my public void on current drag function, which is called whenever a drag occurs on this square, which is right here, we're going to do an if statement of if rect help, because this is a static function, so we reference the class, then the function name, dot is overlapping rect transform and red zone. And if this returns true, we then print out in red. So I'm going to save my work and go back into Unity. I'm then going to go to my dragger object and drag and drop the red zone into the red zone field here. And then I'm going to save my work and press play. And if you look at the console, there's nothing there. If I go into the red zone, whenever we are dragging the square, it prints out a debug log. However, if I stop dragging, no more debug logs are printed. So I'm going to then clear it. I'm then going to move it about. And as you can see, more debug logs occur. If I clear it again and drag about, nothing happens until I cross over into the red rec transform. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.